The other day, I decided that I wanted to try to make a bunch of really basic synthesizers out of like analog components and I wanted to build them into rubber ducks. So I ordered a bag of rubber ducks off of Amazon and they're fucking tiny. So I'm going to give it a try anyways. And uh, I, this could be a real shit show, but eh. here's what I did. So I have a circuit here that uses two 555 timers as a kind of crude square wave synth. And there are two photoresistors hooked up to it to adjust the frequencies that each of these runs at. I'll try to post like a really shitty schematic here so that you can see in more detail. Well, let me show you what it does. So yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I don't know how useful it would be for actual uh, music writing, but it was a fun project. So the first thing I'm going to do is just mark off the usable area on this thing. And then I'll try to cut it and we'll see how well it fits. It's not much space. We do have eight pins across. We're gonna have a good amount of space along the bottom for the rest of our random components. Yeah, I think that might work. Okay. I, I can clean it up with a Dremel a little bit. But for now, I just wanna see will this actually fit in here okay. How do I want to cut this open? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim along here and peel it back so I can hot glue it back together. Don't breathe! Get rid of this thing. Alright, so we're into the meat. It's just fine. Let's clean these edges up a little bit. Okay, so I just soldered down the stuff that I know is going to be here, like the two 555s and the ground power cable. The speaker. Now the speaker, I'm going to put some wires on so that I can jam it, I guess, into the butt. <laughs> yeah. So. Hooked up. Aha. Okay. So we have the eyes installed. We have the buzzer jammed in the mouth. We have a power switch. We have all the components really, really, really shoddily soldered onto this board. Uh, I think we're ready to finish it. We could test it. 
and uh, it works nicely. gorgeous so I was thinking how am I gonna power this thing it runs on 5 volts and I just happen to have this old broken USB cable so that's how I'm gonna power it I think I'm going to push the power out through the butt I think that'd be funny put a big old b-hole on this thing put shrink wrap over these cables, but in the spirit of keeping this thing as half-assed as possible, I'm just gonna wrap and duct it. That's done, so now if I plug this in to some kind of like phone charger or USB port, So now all we have to do is finish putting it, jamming all this shit in here and uh, see if we could do that without breaking it at the last second, which would be pretty classic. I'm tape all this stuff up just so no contacts touch when I jam it all in before I close this thing up. I'm just gonna record a video, get in here and show you really, really close up everything that we have. So you can see deep in there, all the way to the end, we have uh, the contacts for the photoresistors. There's the buzzer. So. We're gonna jam all this shit in there. You know, it occurs to me that I don't need a switch anymore. <laughs> now the only question is, will this hot glue melt this rubber or whatever this is? I'm hoping not. But in the spirit of being half-assed, we're just going to go for it. Oh, I like that. I can use my hand as, as like a filter, a low pass filter over the buzzer. And while I'm doing that, I can kind of cover the two different photoresistors differently. You can almost play it like an instrument. It's kind of expressive, it's surprising. You would think it would be annoying, but I I'm actually don't mind it. And now for my baby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to jam with the duck jammer and record it to one track in AOP1. Then I can cut little pieces out of that and make synths out of it and percussion and things like that. 